People make assumptions all the time. So let's get the record straight. If I was a drug addict, how could I have possibly have done all this? I'm Lisa Frank, and this madness that you see and all this excitement started with me. I know that you weren't comfortable being on camera. Is there an element to the secrecy? Well, the secrecy has worked for so long. Like, will I come out of the closet? <laughs> I mean, I don't want to disappoint anybody. What if I'm not who they want me to be? Our look has really been consistent for 30 years. And people have tried to tell me, bright colors aren't in, you should do pastels. And it's not who I am. We are entering the vault that has all the original artwork in it. Hmm. Okay, I better figure out how to open it before you film it. The room is fireproof so that we don't lose the original art. But look how bright everything still is. We were involved in the big sticker craze in the 80s. Then it went to school supplies because a sticker is an inch to three inches so it was more fun to get the art bigger. And you can see it says library sample, do not remove. That means like it's probably one, one of a all, kind. Yeah. In hindsight, we could have been even smarter, like keeping 12 of everything. But there are some things I don't even have. It was so exciting because we were onto something that no one else was really onto. I mean, people thought I had horns coming out of my head when I would suggest things early on. The building's more than 300,000 square feet. And at one time, like every bay was filled up with trucks that were shipping product out of here. In the beginning, we probably had 30 artists at one time. Unfortunately, now we don't need as many people in the art department because things are much easier on the computer. So you now are doing only licensing? Right. Now what we do is we do the artwork for a whole bunch of other companies who are then making it and shipping it. I don't think I ever want to be a manufacturer again. That takes away from who I am and what I really love to do is to do artwork. We want to round out his face a little bit so he looks a little cuter. I've obviously learned a ton over the years, but in terms of the artwork and the process, I would say that hasn't changed at all. It was never about making money. It was about making good product. and having fun.